What's up, yo? How y'all doing? So, in this video, we are tearing apart this stock 212 Predator engine. Uh, you know, perfectly good running engine, but we're gonna take the governor out. I already took the oil sensor thing out, so if you don't have enough oil, it basically just kills the engine. Uh, it's a tilt sensor thing too, so it kind of sucks for mini bikes and stuff like that where the oil might not always be in the right spot. So, we're doing that. Uh, I think I'm going to take this little guy out here and tap this for a screw. Uh, I need to tap this over here for a screw as well. That way we can, um, you know, keep that plugged. I could essentially use this, but there's this little drain tube and I, uh, I don't know, I just don't necessarily want to keep that in there and now we're gonna get back into tearing it apart again so another time lapse after this set of talking ends which is right now so I'll see y'all in a bit Alrighty, so I ended up going to Menards and Home Depot. Menards had this light for 10 bucks, so I grabbed that. Not a bad deal. I'm getting pretty lit up in here, you know, I like it now. These lights were $2, so that one was five bucks. So, I mean, overall, these little LED lights, they kill it. You look at them though and you go blind. Don't look at them. I do it on accident. But either way, we went to the store. I got new taps and uh, drill bits, because it was the same price as just the drill bit imagine that so it just made more sense uh, this is an 8125 with the drill bit for it this is actually half inch 13 so uh, I couldn't figure out what to get and that just ended up being what we got we got this I figured this should be a good enough plug we'll find out hopefully it doesn't leak if it leaks then we'll you know we'll do drill a bigger hole get some sort of plug Ah, okay, let's get this back in here. We uh, got the taps in, the one here, and then this one here. This one's a little bit loose. Uh, I'm gonna have to get a flanged bolt to put there. I couldn't find one that was short enough at the store, so that's why I got this one, thinking it would be good, but the way that I drilled through, it just went through the whole thing. So I need to get like a flanged bit to stop it. I'm gonna put some RTV around the flange bit as well so that it keeps it sealed if any oil does get through. Big brain thought process right there. But for now, we'll just fill it with that. Um, let's see, the main reason we took this off, this, I think this comes off, but I don't know. Maybe it doesn't. I'd hate to break the crank. 
but I also want to just take it off if we can take it off. It's not like it's going to really save much. Damn. My marks for lining up the crank are gone. <laughs> It'll be fine. Just realized I don't have any assembly lube, so I can't actually put this back together. Unfortunate. the governor I got rid of the oil sensor for like when it tilts and stuff uh, it will shut off X Y and Z so that's done uh, I got assembly lube we got the piston back on the cam is in everything is hopefully timed and lined right if not whatever it fucking dies uh, we got this today they didn't have flange, flange in half inch 13 uh, they didn't have flange in any American so Next time I'll probably, I don't know, I don't know what I'll do. Uh, got some, I got a new gasket pack, but I realized I still had this one, so I took the tip from that one, and we're gonna put some gasket on here, we're gonna put some thread locker on here, we're gonna put that in, and then I'm gonna put some gasket maker on this little guy here, and put it on. So, yeah, let's uh, get that going. to do 0.5 quarts which is 16 fluid ounces but the dipstick's not reading as full so I just said fuck it and put the whole 18 ounces in uh, yeah I mean we got the gasket done obviously everything's back on and wired up at this point I mean I could probably put it on the mini bike frame and try to start it the thing is, I don't know with this carb if I need the fuel pump in order to utilize it. So yeah, I mean, there we go, governor delete. I mean, it's super simple. You don't need any extra parts. I don't know what you would need to keep the stock governor. Not stock governor, stock uh, carburetor. I really don't know. Uh, my goal is just to set it up so that I can use this carburetor it's just a better option especially for the mini bike setup and just overall it's just a better carb than the stock carb that comes with it uh, a little short ram intake here uh, we could get the curved one as well I'm not really sure what we're gonna end up doing uh, I mean a billet flywheel for this and the go-kart would be great uh, that would be fun little updates to do upgrades I guess uh, I need to get an exhaust for the mini bike setup. All right. So I'll probably have something like. Well, we're gonna have to cut some custom holes. Honestly. 
See, we're gonna probably get a gas tank that goes over here. Um, first things first, if I can get away with running the stock gas tank, I will, uh, just so that we can get it moving. And then we'll get an updated one. Um, obviously I still need to finish my car and that's where I really wanna put my money. But in the meantime, while I can't work on that cause I'm waiting for money to buy parts. I'm not even waiting for money. I'm just waiting for the right time to do everything. I have too many projects on my hand. Uh, got half my house, a quarter of my house like torn apart. Finally got most of that put back together. Uh, I don't know, I just do too many things and keep myself way too preoccupied. Like I built that computer back up last week. That took like a day of my time away instead of doing something productive. It's productive because I've wanted to have that, you know, it's my old build from 2014. I just wanted that to be up and running and working again so that I could do some test environment stuff for myself for personal learning, uh, which it's set up for now. I just, I still haven't set that aspect of it up, but I mean, overall, this should be a pretty, pretty simple thing. Um, I mean, the hard part is, like I said, we're gonna have to probably cut this out and weld a new plate in for holding that, which isn't really too difficult. Uh, I don't have a welder, I wanna get one. So when I get that, we can do that. Uh, I, I mean, I also need the welder for, this I believe is supposed to be welded on uh, I don't know if I need to weld it on or if I'm supposed to drill through the frame and then like clamp it on but uh, yeah chain roller I don't know how to set it up gotta learn how to set that up sorry I'm watching Lord of the Rings we have new shocks so these are set and ready to go the seat is supporting itself finally we're not having those issues there um, the screws that hold the seat on are a little bit broke, but I mean, that is what it is. The front sp springs are working fine. And uh, I mean, like I said, we got everything set up for the clutch brake here. This wire's kind of fucked. I might have to just get new wires all around, um, unfortunately. I think I used a mountain bike cable for that. So I might be able to just do that as well because I couldn't find just a, a throttle cable and there might be something on Amazon or another website but either way that's probably it for the video sorry I've been rambling for the last five minutes and yeah hopefully you all enjoyed hopefully we can get this thing running um, I've been wanting to get like something small and I think this could fill the itch to get something small and I could you know mess around with this it's obviously automatic so you're at the, the mercy of ability to wheelie on auto which is potentially possible right um i just want to learn how to do wheelies that's really all and uh this might be a good spot to start with because even trying to do them on the cowie the little 110 at my parents house i couldn't really get them to go up it's hard i don't know this though i definitely got it to go up i rode them out with my feet out a couple times um we'll see what it's like when it's direct chain because that was with the torque converter, and the torque converter would always just slide. Um, so, yeah. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.